Hey everybody, it's Dave Juno, the Meniere's Disease Warrior. How y'all doing? I'm doing pretty good for a Sunday. I actually feel pretty good. So yeah, I'm kind of tired still, but I'm doing okay. But you know, last week was just horrible, horrible. I I don't remember having so many attacks, vertigo attacks, like last week. And I really wasn't having a lot of salt. Um, I was just kind of barely drinking coffee. I wasn't drinking that much coffee. Um, you know, I kind of was sitting in the dark room a lot, but it was just weird. You know, it was a lot, I mean, it was a lot of air pressure changes. So it probably was why I was getting so much vertigo. But in a long time, it was the first time I had vertigo in a, an extremely long time. And I'm talking about vertigo that lasts for days. I'm not talking about a vertigo that, you know, lasts a few hours, it goes away. Um, it, it, it was awful. I mean, I know I've had vertigo that goes on for days. Um, I've seen a lot of posts of people saying that. It's kind of why I'm making this video too. Um, because, it, you know, it happens. There's nothing you can do about it except ride the wave. Take your rescue meds and, and rest. And there's nothing wrong with resting. There's nothing wrong with relaxing. Um, but yeah, like Monday night it started, you know, I started getting sweaty, my face turning red and all this stuff. And so, yeah, I was like, okay, I went to lay down and I woke up a couple of hours later and I was okay. It felt like I was okay. Um, I made it to, into the living room and turned the television on. It was like two o'clock in the morning, Tuesday morning. And all of a sudden the room was literally going like this. While I was sitting down, it was literally going like this. And the sweat's pouring off and everything. So I just sat where I was and eventually fell asleep. And then that afternoon, almost the same thing, except I was standing. And everything just went like that again, the whole room. And um, I literally, my granddaughter, God love her, she walked me to my bedroom. <laughs> Six years old, you know, she wanted to take care of Papa. So God bless her. I love her. She's awesome. She walked me to the bedroom and my wife got me my rescue meds and I passed out. And then I was kind of like brain fog all day. So Wednesday was almost the same thing. Um, I wasn't so much vertigo, then dizziness off balance. But I did almost the same thing. I didn't take my rescue meds, but I rested, right? So Thursday, I felt great. Okay, was it Thursday? Yeah, Thursday I felt good. And so I piddled around the house. And then I piddled around the house because I figured, you know what, give myself an, a, another day to recover. You know, I don't want to jump too soon. So then Friday was beautiful out. And I said, well, I had a wicked migraine. Wicked migraine, not vestibular plain old ordinary migraine so i took some tylenol and i said you know what i gotta go outside i can't sit in this house i've been in this house five days now so i went out tried to do a little fishing that didn't work out too well i fell <laughs> but i still fished a little bit and i didn't fall in the water i didn't fall hard and it was basically because i lost my balance on rock so I fell, but it was okay. And I got some nice pictures, which I will post a couple in the beginning, a couple in the end of the video. Um, I got some nice pictures, which really, if I can't catch a fish, if I'm taking these nice pictures, I, hey, that's my day. And then, so when I got home, my head was really killing me. <laughs> and I went to bed and I'm lying down. Now, Saturday, yesterday, great day. It was okay. Felt good all day. Um, I shouldn't have coffee at 5 o'clock at night while I'm editing video because I was up all night. But I felt good and I feel good today. But, you know, March, as I looked in my records, because I've also talked about the journal, keeping a journal, because you can go back and find out, okay, you know, is March one of those months where I'm, uh, I'm off a lot? And you know what? It is. March. Here's my months that I'm off. January. November. March. And 
the early part of June. That's when I get my most attacks. Okay, so you know, for new people, that's what I'll tell you about when I say keep a journal. It's not just for to get SSDI. It's not just for your doctors. It's also for you, because it's hard to remember. Now this February was bad for me because I had RSV, and I had the flu. So what I wrote in my journal was, for the month of February, RSV, flu, Meniere's went out of its mind. <laughs> for that, for that. So when I show my doctor on Tuesday, I can say, <laughs> February was a vertigo month. <laughs> but the thing is, is that not once did I want to give up. Not once did I say, eh, I got to stop this channel because I'm going through hell right now and, and, and this and that and the other thing. None of these thoughts crossed my mind. None of them. Do you know why? Because I know every day I, I have hope and every day is a different day and there's always tomorrow. Right? And I think a lot of people don't understand this. That they think that this is the way you're going to be every day for the rest of your life. Now, are there things that are going to bother you for the rest of your life? Yeah, but you could function. I could function being deaf. I can function with tinnitus. So even though I can't hear in this ear and I'm hearing bell ringing and buzzing and all this other garbage all day long, I could still function. Even though, yes, I know tinnitus can be debilitating. And when it gets loud, it is debilitating. But for the most part, it's not for me. So I, I, or I've learned to just deal with it and just have it become part of who I am or what I am. But a lot of times you guys get it. You got to push. You got to, if you're feeling good, go outside your house, go outside your apartment, get some fresh air. Don't let this thing defeat you. And, and, and that's what I think a lot of people do is they, they just give up. They're like, well, this is my life and I'm just going to sit here all day. And look at a television, look at a computer, look at my phone. Mm -mm. Got to do something if you can, if you feel good. And even inside, you don't have to, even if you're inside, you, there are things you can do. I mean I, I mean, I have a computer, I have a setup where I do videos and, and edit church stuff and do other things. Um, you know, I also have to raise my grandchildren, but that's another story. Um, for a later day. <laughs> but there's so many things that you can do. Um, there's Vita. You could become a Vita ambassador. You don't have to go run out and do things. You can just be at home. Helping people on the phone. They do that too. They'll, they'll assign you somebody who's really looking for somebody to talk to about it. And you could talk to them. You know, and help them out. You know, believe it or not, if you help somebody, it kind of makes you feel good. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, you know, don't give up the fight. Don't quit. You know, we want you here. We all do. Um, but, yeah, like I said, you know, this week's been hell. It doesn't mean last week was hell. It doesn't mean this week's going to be hell. This is last week. This week might be a good week. This week I may catch my first fish of the week of the year if I have a chance to go. Um... So yeah, man, don't, don't, don't give up. Don't give up. That's all I can say is don't give up. Don't give up the ship. And on that note, guys, hey, hope you have a great week. Hope you're having a great weekend. And I'll talk to you all soon. Take care. Bye.